that's intentional spontaneity. What do I mean by that? What in the world does this have to do with social media content, with creating personal branding content and answering people's questions? Here's the deal. Think about this for a second. What type of content keeps your interest? What type of content do you search out or find fascinating, entertaining, engaging, memorable and unique when you're on social media? Whether it's a website, whether it's a, a blog post, a podcast, it's something that happens that you're not expecting. It's something that's not scripted. It's real world, real time. It's not necessarily got you moments, but it's something that's just different. And what I've noticed is when you, instead of scripting out or using a teleprompter, for example, if you're doing video, what I want you to do is rely upon what you already know. Rely upon your understanding of the facts. Rely upon all of your years of experience. Put together a presentation that is in the moment. If you give yourself permission to trust yourself and rely upon, if you're talking about a breaking news story, if you're talking about a new client's case, hop on social and understand that you've got years and years of experience of talking to people. Talking to a camera is just like talking to someone sitting across your desk, whether it's a judge or 12 people in the jury box. And allow yourself to be yourself and make mistakes, but speak from the heart and share your ideas. You're being spontaneous because it's not scripted. You're jumping on and commenting about something and you're doing so in an intentional fashion, but it's also the type of content that people enjoy watching. It's also the type of content that will separate you from everyone else. Regardless of the business that you're involved with, regardless of what you do for a living, regardless of the topic, think about how can you be more spontaneous in what you're doing. I'm doing it right now out on the harbor. This was not planned, but I needed to get out. And I thought, you know what, I'll just shoot a video from the harbor, but I'm, I'm relying upon years of sailboarding and paddleboarding, years of using video, uh, sharing years of trial or experience with you, right? Right now, and you can do the same thing. Let's say you're new, let's say you just you just rolled out your company, you're a young entrepreneur, you don't have years of experience, you don't have that gut feeling, you, you haven't developed that sixth sense yet. How do, you, how do you allow yourself to be intentionally spontaneous? Here's what you do. Study other people. Study successful people who have been there and done that. Read books, watch videos, watch TED Talks. In other words, you don't have to recreate the wheel. Tap into their knowledge, find out what they're doing, and start modeling, developing a pattern on how you deal with issues, on how you build out your business around other people that have already done that. I can't tell you how many times I've watched a new lawyer pick a jury or give an opening statement, and I, I'm thinking to myself, just give me 30 minutes of your time. 30 minutes of your time, and I could, I could save you 15 years of mistakes. So for the new business owners, the new entrepreneurs out there, study what other people are doing. What's their procedure? What's their pattern? What are the steps they take to go from A to B and then B to C and C to D? That's what I recommend you do. And then once you figure out those steps, and it's not that complicated, the secret what I've noticed to success is, in, is taking action. The information's out there. Most people don't take the step, don't, don't take the next step of digesting and learning the information and then taking action. So what I want you to do is study what other people are doing and then give yourself permission to step into their shoes just as though you had been doing what they've been doing for the last 20 or 30 years and be intentionally spontaneous. I'm telling you guys, if you guys do this when you're closing a deal, trying a case, creating content on social media, you're going to have such a a much greater impact on your audience, on the results that you're getting, and how other people perceive who you are and what you do. And when that's your clients and your customers, that's huge. So that's my takeaway for this morning. Once again, down at Dana Point Harbor, just a gorgeous day. I'm going to go around the island. Maybe I'll share a couple of more pictures or videos, but between now and next time, you guys connect with me over at streaming.lawyer. All right, you guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. 
and make it a masterpiece. Bye-bye.